Welcome to my channel. So this time I'm going to show you how to write simple guessing game in Ruby. So I've been asked by my friends to write the program, uh, the purpose of program. Yeah, what program should do? It's like a program should ask about the name of the player, then uh, greet the player, and then ask him to guess the number between one and hundred. And uh, while the user is answering uh, the question, it should give a hint. Is it too low or too high? Okay. And if he guess, then it should just write you won or something like this. Okay. So this is quite a simple program, but you can learn a lot from this. So let's start. Let's start from the puts. So let's put some kind of greeting message. Hello. What is your name? Okay. And uh, the use, uh, of course, we can use print of instead of puts. Okay. It will work as well. And then user can put his name, which we create as a name equals to get. So this is the same as a, uh, as a scanner in Java. Okay. We just need to put gets it's much simpler okay so what once we have his name we can we can greet him okay so let's say welcome to the guessing game and uh, and the name of the player so the hash two brackets and of course, name. Okay. Let's see. Okay, it asks, what's your name? It's Peter. See, the problem is this stuff went downstairs. Why is that? Because if you want to avoid this, you just put here chomp dot chomp, whatever it means. Let's try it now. Peter. Yeah, it works. It works fine. So we have one point for the greeting. It's it's done. And uh, as you can guess, we'll use a loop. But uh, before that, we should pick the number that the user is guessing. Okay, so let's just write a number. And uh, to pick a random number, we use a command rand, and then we can specify inside of the brackets from what, from where to where, okay, from one to hundred, okay, let's say one to hundred. In that case, it's inclusive, so it in will include one and everything until hundred with one and hundred themselves, okay. Uh, so the system picked the number now and now let's give some comments to the user so he know what he has to do okay. yeah so puts please guess the number between one and hundred uh, next thing we're gonna do uh, it's we have to give the opportunity of user to user to put some some kind of number but but before that we have we have to like realize that we should put a loop in here because if you put just gets in here the user will guess or will guess not and the program will stop so let's ask user to put uh, to guess the number as long as he will win okay so we can use until we can use while it's up to you and uh, there should be some kind of uh, object saying he won or he lost so the loop is finished okay so let's say winner equals to false 
okay so the well, I, it doesn't have to be false you can say no okay he created object winner and he's not a winner okay or it can be also false false okay it's more actually it's proper yeah it's boolean we could use also zero or one you know let's say false because if i want to use no it, it's a different comment so don't mess it up okay so now make a loop while win is false so as long as user is a loser and it's not a loser as long as the user is losing the game okay so he, he didn't guess yet let's ask him for the guess okay and uh, it will be integer okay whatever he he write okay so now actual loop starts here okay so if the guess so what user puts is uh, larger than than number so which system picked okay then put some comment okay so user put larger number than the real number so let's say to him sorry it's too high okay or like uh, too high okay keep trying okay then else if okay else if uh, wait I, I, I messed it up a bit okay else if the other option is the guess so what the user guessed is slower is is smaller than the number picked by system then or in that case the system will say it's smaller okay so sorry too low try again uh, so if it's not not too high and if it's not too low then so it will be else what can be else else is only correct because it can be only too large or too small so else he should win puts congratulations and uh, let's uh, put his name in here just remember about all the Congratulations, hash, name, you win, okay, hoppa, congratulations, you win or you won that's it right now uh, so the other thing we have to do is to change this that he's a winner now okay so it should be true because if we don't change it will keep 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 scrolling okay so last thing we have to do is to change the value of win to true and of course we have to finish the 
the program itself, okay? And then now we can compile. What's your name? Peter. You see? You see? Even I don't mistake. Here, win. And here, winner. That's why there's error, okay? Winner, okay? And here can be winner as well. Yeah. And I can see now it should be equals to, okay? Run. This is very helpful language as it helps you and points you all the mistakes even better than Java does. So we have now the program done itself. There have been some mistakes, there are some more stuff uh, that can be done. We can put a counter, uh, it will be counting uh, the tries of the user and say him at the end how many tries he got before he got to the end. By the way, videos that you've seen in the middle of this video, you can find on the recommended channels. Just click on this channel and see recommended. Thank you for watching and help and hopefully, hopefully it helped you. See you later.